Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and I live a clean keto lifestyle. And I was not planning on making a video today. I was sitting here this morning just drinking my black coffee and I am um, getting ready for my two little grandsons to come over for a little bit. My uh, daughter-in-law has to go to the hospital to see her mom. Her mom might be getting out of the hospital today. She went back in the hospital. For those of you who um, uh, seen my video before where I requested prayer for her, it's just a long story. She's been through a lot. She's back in the hospital right now. She may be going home in uh, either today or tomorrow. We had another big surgery. And so just keep her in prayer. Her name is Lynn. And I don't want to go into a lot of detail about what she's going through just because I haven't told her that I'm posting about her on YouTube, but um, she just needs prayer. She's been through a lot. So anyways, my daughter-in-law is bringing two of my grandsons over, Judah's in school, and I'm going to have them for a couple of hours. I was just waiting for them to get here. I really wasn't planning on making a video today just because it's so busy when they are here. It's just a busy time when you have little, little grandbabies over. And I do film at times when they are here, but um, it's little snippets at a time. So I don't even know if I'm going to get a good video done today. I don't know if I am going to even post this video. I'm going to just see how it turns out. I just thought that I would just take you along with me today and just do sort of a day in the life <laughs> instead of a what I eat in a day video. In a little bit, I'm going to take you outside and show you my garden, my container garden. We planted it Mother's Day weekend, which was um, like a week and a half, two weeks ago. I don't even know how long it's been, but um, hasn't been that long. And everything is doing so good. The plants are growing. And so I'll show you that. And just whatever happens today, I'll just throw bits and pieces in this video. Real quick, I want to talk to you about yesterday's video that was released about supplements. The supplements that I take, I failed to mention what time of the day I take the supplements and do I take them with food or do I take them on an empty stomach? So just in case you're wondering, I take them right after I eat my first meal of the day. I don't like taking supplements on an empty stomach. I just don't like the way they settle and make me feel. So I always make sure that I eat my first meal first and then I take my supplements. Now I take my supplements all at once. The Moringa on the bottle says to take two in the morning and two in the evening. Now I forgot to mention that part too. I take four a day. Ed takes two a day. Two a day seems to be enough for him. If you're starting out with Moringa, first of all, talk to your doctor. If uh, you are going to be taking. I have one comment under my video about them trying to take Moringa and it interacted with their, I believe it was thyroid medication, but the bottle says take two in the morning and two in the evening. I tried that, but I seem to forget to take the evening ones. So I take four at once. I take them all at the same time of the day. They really help me. I don't seem to have any issues with taking them all for it once. We have a Facebook group over on Facebook and we have over 5,000 members in our group. I cannot believe we are adding, my husband is moderating with me now and we are adding members every single day. So if you are not a part of our Facebook group, I recommend that you go over there if you're on Facebook and join the group. You, it's a private group so you have to request to join. It is a great group of people. There's women and men on the group and people post recipes, what they're eating in a day. If I don't get to a comment, I don't always get to comments on there because there's so many. Um, everybody just helps each other out. It's a very encouraging site. We've had to remove, I think, two people because of just people causing drama and we just we like to keep it drama free over there and we just like to encourage one another and uplift one another that is what i want the group to be all about helping one another being kind to one another and so it's a great group of 
people. One of our members asked, I think it was this morning, if olive oil is okay to use as a uh, clean oil. And I commented, yes, it is. And I thought about that and I'm like, I need to talk a little bit about oil. So real quick, I'm gonna to talk to you about what oils I use to cook with. I have gotten rid of all seed oils. Anything that is um, a processed oil that is made from seeds or from anything like that, I have gotten that out of my diet. And it's not only oils that come like for cooking in bottles of oil, it's also in foods. So when you, um, so if you are watching seed oils, read the labels on food and you'll see a lot of times there are bad seed oils, canola oils, um, soy bean oil are in a lot of packaged foods and I am getting away from those as well. So the bad oils that I can think of, I'm gonna name off what I can think of off the top of my head that I recommend getting out of your diet is soybean oil, canola oil, any kind of vegetable oils, corn oil, uh, Smart Balance. Smart Balance is not a smart oil. I'm telling you, it is not a good for you oil. They will put things on these labels that make you think that they are heart healthy, that they are good oils. Seed oils are so bad for you, cause inflammation in your body. They are just not good. Olive oil is a good oil to use like when you're sauteing foods or if you're making like salad dressings and you want an oil in it. Avocado oil is a good oil for frying. It is a high temperature, low smoke point oil. It's good for deep frying. You can also use avocado oil when you're making dressings and mayonnaise and that kind of thing. I use beef tallow for cooking. We make our own. I have some videos on that. Basically beef fat that you render down into an oil and it is a really clean oil to cook with. Bacon grease, I save all my bacon grease. Every time I make bacon, I do not waste that precious oil. I use it for cooking my eggs in. I use it for, I have even used it for deep frying. It does tend to pop grease out when you're cooking with it. So, um, but it's really flavorful for uh, cooking things in. Lard is good because it's rendered down from pork fat. So my boys just got here and so I just, um, I'm gonna finish this video in the kitchen. But uh, butter is really good to cook with. Margarine is not good. Margarine is not good. It's just made out of seed oils. So I'm gonna list the oils down below that I use. Avocado oil, olive oil, bacon grease, beef tallow, butter. That's basically what I cook with. So that's my little spiel on oils. I'll be back in a little bit to let you know what's going on in my day. See you then. We did a video on Mother's Day weekend that showed how we make these container gardens. They are wicking self-watering um, containers. And you can see, you can watch the video to see how these work. The water sits in the bottom of these and the plants wick the water up. And so I just wanted to show you, look at these plants. Look at my tomato plants. Look at, these are pepper plants right here. They're bell peppers. These are tomato plants. This one right here is falling over. I don't know. I'm gonna have to push this one a little further down in the soil. All right, well, give him a little support and see if that one is gonna be all right. Okay, but look at the size of these plants already. Look at this one right here. This one is huge. It's really getting big. I have various tomatoes. Um, here are, this one here needs to be staked up too. I'm gonna have to get some little twine and stake those. And more peppers. And these are my cucumbers and this is jalapeno peppers. I have a couple of flowers. Actually, there's another one there. Starting on my little cucumbers. These are actually container garden cucumbers. They are made for containers or smaller areas. I thought I would update you real quick and show you how things are looking. Right now, I am going around the house and watering plants. I have a lot of plants. I just thought as I was watering them that I would count them and I think I have 86 plants 
that's not counting like I have a big cactus bowl with a bunch of little cactus plants in it so it's not even counting I counted that as one plant but um I lost count a couple of times and so yeah I have a lot of plants and it does take a lot of time to water them these are my plant cabinets I made these out of actually Ed helped me make these out of Ikea curio cabinets and I converted them into greenhouses and they have uh, actually real grow lights inside of them they have fans inside of them that circulate the humidity they have special shelves that have um, like holes in them I ordered these shelves off of Etsy that are designed for this cabinet because um, this is all a craze right now is these Ike Ikea Mills Bow greenhouses but um, they had glass shelves in them and my grandkids love them. You have to replace these solid glass shelves because you need airflow for the plants. And so they have a lot of humidity. This one actually, I have a little fountain in here and this really builds the humidity inside of here. And right now it says that it has 98% humidity. It's actually a little high. You can see it's kind of fogging up the glass. And so I'm gonna open this and you will see the humidity drops. But I just love my plants. It is a real job taking care of these plants and going around and watering them. It takes like an hour in the morning when I go around and water these. And so I'm gonna finish watering these, but I just thought I would show you my huge plant collection. They are all over the house. Yeah, you, you want me to open it? Like when I open the cabinets because he likes to see the fountain. And yeah, the, the, the good thing is these cabinets have locks on them with a little key because he likes to open them. But <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish watering. Just thought I would show you my task for the morning. I told you he likes to play in the water fountain, but look at this yeah. peacock moss plant. Yeah. I had to give it its own shelf. Yeah? yeah? because it's getting so big. It loves humidity yeah. and it is so pretty. Yeah. I'm gonna have to lock, <laughs> I'm gonna have to lock up this cabinet, so. Rock. Rock. <laughs> yeah. Mira, this, I'll go up to the ground if you go down. So while we're on the subject of plants, I thought that I would show you my landscaping out front because everything is a blooming look at these these are so beautiful they spread all over the place though this is my fern that we got on my birthday the little back of the pickup truck story that i told you the guy peddling the plants it's doing well and so this is my those are my pots in the back they're getting big i have some of those my rose bushes getting little buds on them hydrangea I have a peony over here getting ready to open and everything is just in bloom i love it we have this clematis this thing gets humongous every single year it's very old and it has purple flowers all over it when it blooms and when it blooms i will show you how it looks it is so pretty so we're gonna go back inside for my first meal i am having leftovers from yesterday ed made a fabulous dinner on the griddle. I did a little short video on what he made yesterday, but we had cheeseburgers. And so I have a patty in here and we also have egg that he fried out on the griddle and some uh, grilled onions. And I'm just gonna eat it right out of this container. I warmed it up. And I also have some bacon here that me and the kids are gonna eat on. And so that's gonna be my first meal. And so I'm looking forward to this. I really love cheeseburger patties. So. I'll see you in a little bit. So I'm now done with my first meal and I'm getting ready to take my supplements. I have my supplements right here in this handy container, Monster Fit. I have the link down below if you need a big container like this for your supplements. I think it's great because I can just throw this in my bag when we are going up north to the lake and I have all my supplements right where I need them. So I'm getting ready to take those and I'm also having elements and I'm also having 
my iodine in my elements. I'm using watermelon salt today. I was telling Ed this morning, I mixed up some for him in his big water jug that he takes to work. The watermelon salt reminds me of watermelon Jolly Ranchers. It really does. It's a very strong flavor. The kids are having broccoli and ranch right now and some strawberries and some wow. bacon. So I'm gonna go ahead and go and I'll see you in a little bit. So it is four o'clock and the boys just went home a little while ago and I ran to Aldi and I had to go to Meyer to get some things that Aldi didn't have. And so I'm tired, you guys. It has been a really busy couple of weeks. This weekend, if everything goes according to plan, we are going up north for the long Memorial weekend. And I can't wait, I can't wait. Today is, um, today is Monday. We're leaving Friday evening. I have a really busy week this week with different things going on. I just went to the post office and I told you guys I only check my P.O. box about once a week. I had a surprise, a lovely surprise for my birthday from Darcy. If you're watching Darcy, thank you so much. I sent you a message to thank you for this, but it was this lovely envelope here and it is English daffodils. Send some love, pop-up flower bouquet and had a cute little card. It says Paula sending you birthday blessings today for your new year, your sister in Christ, Darcy. And I really, really love it. It is a cardboard pop-up bouquet of flowers. I really needed this little pick-me-up today. It just really made my day. So this was, this is so cute. I'm going to take it home and put it out on my table. It is so cheery. Look at that. It's so cute. It's like 3D. It's like a 3D card. So thank you so much. Um, so I'm going to go home and put my groceries away and we are going to be having city chicken for dinner. I made it a while back with the carnivore crisp chicken breast flour and it was so good. I made it out of country ribs and city chicken, if you don't know what it is, it's usually like some kind of pork on a stick that is breaded like chicken, like fried chicken and they call it city chicken. You can get it a lot at places like fairs and that kind of thing where you're walking around. It's a really easy to grab and eat food. So I'm gonna show you how I make it when I get back, so stay tuned for that. So this is how I make city chicken. I have some country ribs here. These are boneless country ribs, and I'm just gonna take these, and I'm gonna cube them up into bite-sized cubes. They're kind of short, so probably three pieces out of each rib. Wash them with the hands. So the next step is I'm gonna put these on these bamboo skewers. You see here, I have a bunch of them. I just grabbed some out of the drawer. I don't know exactly how many I'm gonna use, but I'm just gonna put these on the skewers. These will probably hold about four or five pieces. I'm gonna make these in my Z-Star Air Grill air fryer. You can make them on uh, in the oven if you want or on the stove top. You could actually fry these like uh, in a skillet, deep fry them. I really like making them in the air fryer. It's just really no fuss. You just throw them in and turn them on and they get nice and crispy in there. So there's two. We're probably going to get about four kebabs, which is good. This is just me and Ed eating this today. So. that fat in there too. All right, one more. This is a really quick meal, even though there's a few steps to it. It's nice and easy to make. All right, we got one more piece. We can fit it on here. All right, so wash my hands again. Let my dog in. Okay, so this is how I make the breading. I'm gonna make that now. Let's move these skewers out of the way. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna use in the breading. I have some eggs here that I'm gonna dip them in and then I'm gonna dip them in the breading. I'm gonna use pork rind crumbs. You can just take 
really cheap pork rinds like from Aldi if you want and grind them up in the blender and you have pork panko. But I'm just gonna use probably the rest of this up. And I have some carnivore crisp chicken breast flour. Carnivore crisp just made this into a bigger package and it's still the same price. I love adding the chicken breast flour because this is made out of chicken breast. It adds extra protein and it has a really good flavor. So I just like adding all these three things together to make my breading. This is Redmond's Real Salt Organic Seasoned Salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, and also I forgot, I use Parmesan cheese too in my breading. I take a block of Parmesan cheese and I just put it, a piece of it in the blender and I make my own grated cheese that way just because I don't want to have the cellulose and all that stuff in there. So we're going to do pork rind crumbs on the plate and there's not that much in there so I'm just going to use all the rest of this. And then we're going to put, where's my chicken breast flour? We're going to put maybe a quarter cup of or so of the chicken breast flour just for that good flavor and that it really enhances it it's a little bit different uh, it's a little bit finer powder so it really helps cling to the pork chops or uh, you know what I'm talking about all right and then I have some Parmesan cheese here that I just grated and I'm gonna throw that in I'm probably gonna have way too much ready and then I have some seasoned salt. This is a really good blend of seasoned salt from Redmond's. I have a discount code for Redmond's. I also have a discount code for the Carnivore Crisps down in the description. It's also over on my website, lowcarbrevelation.com. I have a whole list of affiliates that I have discounts, discount codes, discount links, all that good stuff for a lot of great products. Okay, so just kind of blend those together. I'm going to put a little bit more of the seasoned salt on top. I like it to be salty and good. Okay, so I have my egg here. I have my breading and I have my Z-Star basket. This is the pan that goes in the Z-Star air grill. I also have a discount leak for the Z-Star Air Grill. You can get it on Amazon through my link and it is great. I make my steaks in this. I make anything that you would be breaded in this. It is a great little air fryer indoor grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip this kebab city chicken into the egg, get it coated with the egg and then I'm just going to bread it with the crumb mixture. Since we have so much crumbs, I'm really gonna pack it on there. Okay. And then I'm going to just put it in the basket and do the other three. I had some of these made up not too long ago and we ate them and there was a couple left over. So we were going over to see my mother-in-law and she's not keto and she is really a picky eater. <laughs> and she ate these and she talked about them for days about how good they were. <laughs> so I thought it was really good that she liked them because she's just picky. So, all right, I'm gonna get these breaded. Packed on there good. I'm gonna turn these this way. Now once I get these in the air grill and they are cooking, the way the air grill works is whatever time you pick, halfway through the uh, air grill beeps for you to turn them over so that you can get the other side browned and crispy. So I believe the last time I made these it was like 22, 24 minutes, something like that on the air fry, on the air grill setting. So I'll let you know when I get these out, how long it took for them to cook. And that's it. You just put them in 
the grill and turn them on and bake them. And I'll be back in just a little bit. So I just turned these over. It's been, I set it for 24 minutes, so it's been 12 minutes. I'm gonna continue to let them cook and I'll be back. So these are done and Ed just pulled up in front of the house from work and he has perfect timing because these are hot and crispy. And these took 27 minutes. I think it was about 20, yeah, it was like 27 minutes total. And they are a little bit bigger than the last ones that I made, which took a little less time. So depending on how big your chunks are, they take a little longer, but I'm gonna go ahead and serve these up and we'll show you what we're having for dinner. So I don't know what Ed's doing out there. He's signing off his computer or something, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I'm gonna start with one of these and this looks so good. And you can just eat it right off the stick. This is a perfect party food. If you have a summer picnic or some kind of a party, you could have these and they're really easy to serve. You could have dipping sauces with them if you like. And I have a Caesar salad here. The recipes for these are over on my website at lowcarbrevelation.com. You can go over there and look for the Caesar dressing and for the city chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat and I'll see you in just a little bit. Okay, so Ed came in and I wanted him to try a bite of this city chicken. It's and like uh, what you would get off of a food truck. Yeah, that's what I was telling them. It's like a, it's like a, at fairs and stuff. You'll see. Oh yeah. Now uh, ribs, I don't think are the country ribs are not the traditional cut of pork that they use for city chicken. I don't think, but I like the ribs because they're easy to cut up and they taste really good. So good crunch. Yeah, that carnivore crisp and the panko, the cheese, all of it, so good. I need to drown that in some ranch. Yeah. So, see you in a little bit. So, Ed just told me to turn the camera back on. Okay, you guys, this is premium right here is what I'm talking about. He really about. enjoyed dinner. Listen, I got this top 10 list, and this is single digits. This one, you better try it. It's oh, good. It is really good. He said that he would pay $50 for that <laughs> in a restaurant. Then I said 35 <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. It's been all over the place today, but it seems to be how my life is. <laughs> so uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps us out. And see you really soon. Have a great day and God bless.